Hey guys, it's me. Um, on the webcam once again. I really do apologize for that. Um, I'm trying to get my camera situation situated so that once I do um, get it fixed, I'll be making better quality videos because I know these ones look like trash. But I'm doing the best that I can and I'm shooting out videos a lot more than I have been in the past. So, um, first off, I just want to share a skincare regimen that is um, starting to work for me. Um, <clears throat> ever since I stopped the depo, well, when I got on the depo and since I stopped the depo, my skin has been really bad and I've had really bad pimples. And that's a no-no when a girl like me is trying to look fly, okay? Um, one product that I heard a lot about, people were like, oh yeah, you need to try this, it works. You know, um, it helps clear your skin and all my acne was gone. And my acne is mild. It's not really severe. It's only in certain spots. It's really mainly in my T-zone. But, <clears throat> yeah, so I heard a lot. I was talking to some people at my job, and they were like, yeah, you need to try this product. So, uh, so it's Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser um, for normal to oily skin. It says that it removes excess oil without drying the skin, and it rinses clean. Okay, my complaint with this is that I don't, it doesn't agree with my skin. It feels like I'm putting on a layer of something. I'm not even going to say soap. It feels like I'm putting on a, a layer of a product and just rinsing it off. I don't feel that it's doing anything for my skin or my pores. So this is a myth. A hit would probably be every once in a while. It's the St. Odd um, Apricot Scrub Invigorating. Um, it exfoliates your skin and it's oil free. This does work, but you need a really, really good product to use after this because this is pretty much lifting the dirt from your face to the surface. And you pretty much want something to get down in those pores and clean it. And I was using this. So I was using these two products together and they did nothing for my skin. Okay? These might work for your skin, but for me, they did nothing. A product that I recently, well, I recently went back to because I think that it works the best for my skin. It was the Neutrogena um, Oil Free Acne Wash Cleansing Cloth. It has salic um, acid in it. And salic acid is known to dry the skin out. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice just cracked. These are the pads. I really don't want to touch it because my hands are all that clean. But this is one side of the pad, and I'm pretty sure you can't tell on camera. This is like an exfoliating pad. You use, you put water on it, you run it under warm water, and you'll see the bed start to foam, and then you go around your face in circular motion. Now, once you've done the exfoliating part, you want to go back in with the soft part. The soft part pretty much cleans up anything that the um, exfoliating pad um, takes lifted. Okay, which is pretty much what this and this was supposed to do to that. And I'm noticing that my face is clearing with this. And since I started taking a certain vitamin, um, I haven't been breaking out as bad. Um, for my nose, I get blackheads on my nose. Ew, I know. Disgusting. What works for me is the Biore Deep Cleansing Pore Strip. It unclogs and diminishes pores. Um, and it, it really does. I use this once a week. Um, sometimes twice a week, depending on how my nose looks. I'm not going to show you clearly, but a lot of people that I know have little black dots on their nose. You can't see them because they're really close up. And that's with me. Put this on your, you wet your nose. You, you wash your face. You wet your nose. Um, then you want to peel the film off of this with dry hands. And you put it on there. And you just press it down. You leave it on there for about 10 to 15 minutes. It's going to get rock hard. Okay, when you peel it off. You gotta peel it slow and you gotta peel it towards the center and it's gonna hurt like crap. But when you're finished, you're gonna look at that pad and you're gonna be like, what in the world was on my face? Okay? So, this is a hit. Um, the Neutrogena is a hit also. Now, for nighttime, after I wash my face with the Neutrogena, I really feel um, like I'm missing something. Like, I should have a night a nighttime mask or cleansing cream on my face. I've been doing a lot of research and um, I've been actually researching this product since last summer, okay? So that's how crazy it's been. I'm I'm the type that, well, I'm a recovering product junkie. And I used to buy products in big sizes and I probably just showed you the product, but I used to buy products in these huge sizes and 
come to find out I didn't even like it, okay, even after doing research, well, not doing research, so now I started doing research, I might take a little bit longer, but I do eventually get the product. I picked up the Mint Gel um, Mask by Queen Halloween, or Queen Helen. Um, it helps dry acne pimples, or into the way blackheads, and helps shrink large pores. This is the original formula, and that's what it claims that it's going to do. I just picked this up recently, so I'm not really too sure if it works. Um, it smells like experiment. It has a thing on it. It smells like spearmint. It's like a mask, pretty much like a putty. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to incorporate, I can't give you a review on this yet, but I'm going to incorporate it into my next time routine. And um, I'm going to go ahead and do a review probably in about two weeks from this. Moisturizer that I um, picked up when I got the Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. And this is the Cetaphil Daily Facial Moisturizer for all skin types, lightweight, non-greasy, and it's SPF 15, which is great for the summertime and when it gets hot out. But my only problem is I feel like this is just oil on my face. I don't feel like it moisturizes the way that it should. However, when I wash my face and it's super dry, I put this on and it feels a lot better than it did when it was dry, but I wouldn't say this is the best moisturizing product, okay? So I'm kind of on the fence with this. I'm going to use the rest of it up because I believe it was $8. I'm probably going to give this away um, to one of my siblings or my mom or somebody because this is like 9 bucks, okay? And, um, <clears throat> oh, about the Queen Helen or Helene, whatever, Mint Gel Up Mask. It comes in a bigger <coughs> bless me. It's allergy season. It comes in a bigger tub. Probably six ounces, maybe eight ounces. Don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. It comes in a bigger tub and it's about two dollars more. Okay. Would I have been better off getting the bigger one? Probably, but I don't know how it works. I'm not gonna waste it. That's two dollars in my pocket that I could use for something else if this doesn't work for me. Okay. So that's my review on skincare products that work for me or that are working for me. If you guys have any suggestions on um, products that are good, like I was thinking about trying the proactive system, but I'm not really too sure how that works. Um, also, the Clinique, um, I think I've seen, I'm not sure, I think I might have seen a Neutrogena system, and I'm going to look into that, but I need a system because I have random products from different brands and I kind of want to keep stick to the same brand so if you guys have any suggestions on a skin care regimen that I can get into that'd be great but for right now I'm going to stick to what I know my skin type is oily 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 once I wash all the oil off it's super dry so you know but thank you for watching continue to subscribe thanks to everyone who has been subscribing and supporting me um I really appreciate it I'm about to go work out so I'll catch you later